Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is March 11th, 2016. Welcome to today's eBay video. For those of you who don't know me, I've been on eBay actively selling since 1999. I'm a top rated seller with 100% feedback and my feedback score is over 10,000. And each year, each year, each week, we come out here and we discuss eBay tips, tricks, and how-tos, and hopefully you find my videos helpful. Today we're going to be discussing some more interesting topics, including some ways to save serious coin on shipping your eBay items. We're also gonna discuss the fact that the United States Post Office has to scan your packages in, no questions asked. And we're gonna discuss more about UPC codes and your comments on last week's video and a few other things. Last week I was out here, guys, it was snowing out, if you remember. There's no snow out today, but it's still mostly cloudy. There's a few peaks of sun showing through. But anyway, it's going to rain straight through from Sunday till, I think, Tuesday, they said. So, I guess this is what passes for great weather. Let's get started. First of all, guys, I read your comments in last week's video, and they were very helpful and very interesting. As you know, your comments base what the next week's eBay video will be about. So it's important to comment your feelings or your issues. Always comment below so if you're heard, hopefully we can discuss your topic live on the air next week. I would like to send a shout out to Enrique Gonzalez. Thank you, sir, for sending me the screenshot. You guys may remember I was telling you I have the Seller Hub beta. I know a lot of you guys don't have that yet, but I was having trouble in mass adjusting my UPC codes in bulk. And it's actually a little, it's not real difficult, but you really have to spend some time figuring out how to master the new seller hub. But once you do, I think you'll be happy with it. I know a lot of you guys are still using Seller Manager because you haven't opted into the seller hub or because you don't want the new seller hub. But that's your business. Do what works for you. As I've said in the past, eBay wants everybody to have UPC codes in their new items. If you have used items, you do not have to have UPC codes. All you have to do is type in does not apply. They do not want you to leave that field blank. Okay? I am still not caught up in doing all mine. But I'm getting there. And I'm very confident I'll have it done. It hasn't hurt sales at all, guys. Not one bit. My sales were excellent again this week, and I sure hope yours were too. Now on to some new topics. I don't know how many of you guys listened to eBay radio yesterday, Thursday, but a letter was read from Griff that was written by Kelly Sigmund, the Vice President of Retail and Customer Service for the Post Office. Kelly states that all postal employees must scan your prepaid eBay packages upon request. I know a lot of you guys have had issues with this, especially you guys out in California and down in Florida have written in many times about it. What I suggest you guys do that have been having trouble, go to ebayradio.com. Griff has posted the letter. You guys can print it out, and if you have any problems, you bring it with you to the post office and show it to the employees, because there's no reason whatsoever they should not agree to scan your packages. You know what? I'm gonna put a link below to that section of eBay radio so you guys can access the letter easily, and those of you guys who need to print it out can do so, and hopefully it'll be helpful. Knockwood, I have never had a problem getting my packages scanned at the post office. And I walk in every day with a big stack, sometimes two or three trips. I've been very lucky. But I know some of you guys haven't been as lucky, and this is for you guys. It is your right to get those packages scanned. Do not take no for an answer, okay? 
Next, I'd like to talk a little bit about shipping and shipping fees. Because, as you know guys, a few weeks ago the post office raised its rates. Now, in some cases it was not that bad, but in some cases it was devastating. You have no idea how high their fees are to ship a large box across country to California from here on the East Coast. It is, in many cases, so much cheaper to use UPS that it's freaking ridiculous. I'm going to tell you what I encountered this week. It's really windy out here, and although you guys can't see it, I have a, I have a big bunch of boxes stacked right here, which I want to use for show and tell. Well, I just lost a few of them. They blew over there. So let me just jump off camera and get them, and we'll start the show and tell. Let's start with the basics, and we'll work our way to the more expensive. First class, bubble mailer. If it's three ounces or under with your eBay top rated seller discount, it's only $2.54. Then the next increment is $2.60. That goes up to about, I think, eight ounces. You can now ship items as heavy as 15.999 ounces under the first class umbrella, something we could never do in the past. So that, that is helpful. Let us now talk about priority mail. This is a small flat rate box. I don't use these that often. They used to be $5.20 anywhere in the USA. They have gone up slightly to a little bit over $6. It's a small box. Here are some common priority mail boxes that I'm sure you guys all use. These are very common. They're available for free at USPS.com or if you want at your local post office. Priority mail on the East Coast or the coast that you reside at is very reasonable still. I still find their prices to be very competitive. But as the size of the box goes up, and if you're going to ship across country, it can be problematic, and it is for me. If you guys watch my Uline videos, you know there are two boxes I use. This is for a single hub, all right? If I'm going to ship something to California in this box, it will cost me approximately $14 and change, all right? Which is really not terrible compared to what I pay with UPS. The big boxes. This box is 17 by 17 by 8. Okay? You have no idea how much money I saved this week alone by using UPS. It sounds crazy? Well, listen to this. I had an item sold yesterday that I shipped in this box. It was lightweight. It was only about 6 pounds or so. 6 or 7 pounds. Do you know that the post office wanted to charge me $38 and change for a lightweight box just because of the size of it. 38 freaking dollars and change. I couldn't believe it. You know what UPS charged me for that? $16. I'm not kidding. $16 instead of 38. I also had about six or seven more instances this week where I had heavy items in the same exact box, but only heavy, like 25, 30 pounds. In the most egregious case, the post office wanted to charge me $58 to ship an item to Washington State. $58. Unbelievable. I was able to get the same item shipped through UPS for about $34. And what, what's important to note is these are not expensive items. It's not like it was a $200 item. It was like maybe a $90 or $100 item. So you gotta watch this, folks. Please compare your prices when shipping large boxes through the post office. If it's going across country, they are going to stick it to you. I saved probably between one and two hundred dollars this week alone using UPS for my large items going cross country. Guys, look into it. You will save money. Trust me. 
unbelievable. I, I was really, I really had sticker shock. I'm still not quite over it. Let's move on. Cancellations. This week I had three cancellations. Can you believe it? Whereas people bought an item, paid right away, and then anywhere from 10 seconds to six hours later, sent me a letter saying I want to cancel the transaction. Now, in one item, I knew instantly the iPhone went to Ching. I saw the item that sold, and I knew I would have bet my life. I said, this item is wrong. He purchased the wrong item. Because, to give you an example, let's say in the year 2008, Chevy Malibu made most of their cars with 15-inch wheels. Maybe one out of 500 or one out of 1,000 had 16-inch wheels that year. So this guy bought a 16-inch hub. Now what are the items, I mean, what, is the, what are the odds that this guy's going to need a 16-inch one? The odds are one in 500 or one in 1,000. Because they, say, they make the same exact item in size 15-inch, which is much more common. So of course he bought the wrong one, but, but, in all fairness to him, he contacted me about 20 seconds later and said, cancel the deal. What I don't get, what I don't understand, is why he made the mistake in the first place, but as soon as he got the confirmation he bought the item, he knew he bought the wrong item. That's what I don't, I don't understand. I mean, he didn't read the listing, I get that. He just looked at the picture, did the buy it now, but as soon as he received confirmation, within seconds, he sent me a cancellation. I don't know what really jogged his mind into realizing he bought the wrong item. But then, I had one last night, Thursday night, where the guy waited six hours. The guy writes back to me, cancel the transaction. I checked, and I know you haven't shipped it yet. I know you haven't shipped it yet, so I want my money back. I bought the wrong item. So, you know, no harm, no foul. I had to avoid the label, but luckily I had not shipped it yet. So, I mean, no money was really lost per se. But again, I don't understand. I just don't understand why people can make a mistake, how they can make a mistake, and then at some point in the future realize they made a mistake. What is it that, that woke them up to the fact that they made the mistake? Somebody wrote in, in last week's video, specifically Hort Timmons, saying that he is sick of going on to eBay to purchase things, and then on the bottom of a particular listing, finding links that eBay is allowing that takes buyers off eBay. I agree with him 100%. We have talked about this in the past, many times in the past. It's sickening. It is really sickening. It's like somebody coming into your store to buy from you, and you and you have the item, and you say, ah, don't buy from me. Go somewhere else. Nobody in their right mind would do such a thing. eBay is doing this to garner a meager, and I do say meager, revenue from the advertiser. Okay? That's all they're doing. It's being penny wise and pound foolish. Myself and quite a few other members of one of the eBay Facebook groups are so sick of this and luckily one of the members lives out west out in the San Jose area and has the ear of some of the people that count at eBay so hopefully they, they will stop allowing this so for the record guys eBay please do not allow sponsored links that take our buyers off eBay and go to other sites. It's not productive for us. It's not productive for you. So stop, okay? Basically, that's all I really want to cover right now. My God, what's that bright thing? Ah, it's the sun. The sun's peeking through and you guys get to see it on camera. This is a special event. Write it down, March 11th, 2016. The sun peeked through in one of Joe's videos. I can't remember that ever happening this year. But guys, in the comments section below, tell me the following things if you would. How were your sales this week? Mine were excellent. 
Did you have any returns or cancellations you want to discuss? Have you noticed that you can save a lot of money shipping your larger items with UPS rather than the post office? Guys, I'm not talking three or four dollars. I'm talking 20 or 25 dollars per freaking box. It's just so unbelievable that I had to mention this to you and I had to show you the box size so you understand. Unbelievable. Guys, as always, I'm Crazy New York Driver, you're not. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or concerns that you'd like to discuss eBay related, drop them below. Print out that letter that I'm going to link to below in case your post office is giving you any lip about scanning your eBay prepaid items. There is no reason that they should. It's their job to scan them, so see that they scan your items. Okay? Thanks for watching. I will see you next Friday right here on the Crazy New York Driver Show. Make some eBay sales. Rock on. Yeah. Yeah. Peace!